Hey YouTube! Today I thought I'm going to do a tag, I'm going to do the gender tag and this is basically just a few questions about gender and I'm just really excited to do it, I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah, this is my gender tag. Question number one. How do you self-identify your gender and what does that definition mean to you? Well, that's basically what I think the most difficult question on this list. <laughs> I identify basically as female, as a girl, because I've got boobs. Um, yeah, that's the only specification I should, I can do. It means to me that I've got boobs. Um, thinking more mentally about it, I'm more somewhere in between being female and being a gender. I couldn't think about me being male, but I don't really do these many girly things. And I don't feel okay without having a gender, so <laughs> I'm somewhere in between a gender and female. That makes sense. I don't know why. That just means that I can be me. Question number two. What pronouns pronouns honor you? Well, I can make this real quick. Come on, I've used her, she, 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 her, hers, she, her, hers pronouns. Question number three. Um, describe the style of clothing that you most often wear. Clothing is a very important problem, uh, thing to me, I don't know. Uh, I sometimes like to wear pretty girly stuff. I wear flowery, girly cleavage things with blue jeans and in summer I like to wear very short shorts and a t-shirt. And especially for fancy dress or for special occasions, I like to wear dresses. Then I'm just feeling naturally like, yeah, I want to wear a dress, especially in summer. But like mostly every day, I feel most comfortable with a band tee, my skinny jeans and my Doc Martens boots. Mostly of all, I also just don't wear any high heel things. Most of the time I only wear Doc Martens boots. Uh, through the whole year I've got three pairs of them or just sneakers like I've got Vans, I've got um, Converse and pff, well I don't know but I've got um, one pair of fancy dress shoes that I have to wear for family events and stuff but yeah mainly sneakers and boots. Question number four Talk about your choices with body hair. How do you style your hair? Do you have facial hair? What do you choose to shave or choose not to shave? My choice of hair is short. Um, I've had long hair before but um, since a few years I colour my hair red and cut it short uh, and let it grow out until the point where it's almost like a short bob but then I shave and cut it again so it's a little bit shorter than this length and I want to keep that up. <laughs> Uh, I don't have facial hair, I'm a woman, I don't have facial hair. Um, I do not really feel like shaving legs and arms, I'm okay with it, but because of society and because I do ballet dancing, um, I um, shave my armpits most of the time. And in summer, for summer holidays and stuff, I shave my legs to fit into society. <laughs> well. But in winter I just don't care about my legs. Question number five. Talk about cosmetics. Do you choose to wear makeup? Do you paint your nails? What types of soaps and perfumes do you use, if any? Number one, do I wear makeup? Yes, I do wear makeup. That's because my skin is really, 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 really horrible at the moment and I have to, to wear makeup non-stop every single day. I've got to apply it. But the years before, I've never worn makeup. I... That was a lot easier than now, but I've just I just have to. The only thing that I wear every 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 single day, and I will until the day I die, is that I use mascara on my eyelashes and yeah. And yes, I occasionally paint my nails, even though I'm really crappy at this. And I only use red and black nail polish. Sometimes I go through phases where I don't wear any nail polish for months and then suddenly at one point I feel like gotta apply some nail polish today and then I do that and yeah it just really depends on my mood most of the time I think most of the time in my life I go without nail polish 
In terms of soaps, I don't really care what this the scent is. I just take anything. I I don't really care. Um, and I also can't stand perfume. I'm using deodorant that smells really clean and hasn't any big scent to it because when I wear perfume, I get sick of it. I'm I got I I get headaches from wearing perfume on my hands or something. But if they would make a scent out of the Lush Ocean Salt face scrub whatsoever, I would be wearing it non-stop. I'm sitting here smelling Ocean Salt uh, on a regular basis because I love the smell of Ocean Salt body scrub so much. Uh, it just smells of alcohol and grapefruit and yeah, that's just the perfect combination for me, I guess. So make alcohol and grapefruit perfume for me, so then I'm gonna start wearing perfume. Question number six. Have you experienced being misgendered? If so, how often? Funnily as it sounds, I've been misgendered before, but I can only remember one occasion when that happened. I've been at a shop where I printed out some photographs and I was the only one there um, printing out the photographs and then an old lady with her husband came around and she wanted to print out other uh, her photographs as well and they had problems with um, with their printer and they were talking to themselves like how, how do we do it? How will you do it? And um, then the lady just said oh, well just look at this young young man there how he's doing it <laughs> the young man was me I was literally the only one who was around there too so I was just smiling away they didn't say it directly to me they just said it to each other I think they didn't notice that I was a girl but yeah that was the only funny occasion so never happened before, never ha ever happened to someone that I really talked to. Question number seven. Do you experience dysphoria? How does that affect you? I can make this again short. I don't experience dysphoria. Never, ever have. And yeah, doesn't affect me. Question number eight. Talk about children. Are you interested in having children? Would you want to carry a child if that were an option for you. Do you want to be the primary caretaker of it for any children you may have? Whoa, big one. This is the thing that I tell people um, pretty fast after I met, meet them. Um, like years before I tell them about my asexuality. But I mean, that already hints a bit of my ex asexuality and stuff. Because I never, 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 never ever want to have children. Never. I tell that the people and the first people told that I was really surprised that they were so shocked and said well you never never ever want to have children. I thought like yeah most of the people don't want children and children just happen by accident <laughs> and um, they were always like no don't I want children at one time don't you want and I was like no never never I don't want to take care of any children and for most of it I don't want to carry a child the thought of having a child inside your body and carrying it, it's just, ah, and then the birth and the pregnancy, it's just all, ah. Um, and no, I don't want to be a primary caretaker of a child. But I had this thought um, a few days ago when I first read about the tag and I looked at some YouTube videos about it, um, that if my partner, um, if he maybe wants a child, I would be um, fine with adopting one if I don't have to be like the primary caretaker of it. I I can partake in taking care of it, but um, I don't want all the responsibility like if I were the real mother. So if I really loved that man, I would probably do that out of love. Because children are awesome. I had the best time of my life was basically one of the best times of my life was my childhood. I just can't really get around get get children. I just mentally don't get children anymore, so it's my only problem. Question number nine. Talk about money. Is it important to you to provide for a family financially if you choose to have one? Is it important to you that you earn more than any partner you may have? Do you prefer to pay for things like dates? Are you uncomfortable when others pay for you or offer to pay for you? Growing up in a family where my mum is the person who 
brings in most of the money and works most most time I'm like yeah I want to work and provide like a family if I ever have one or just for myself uh, enough money and I'm really competitive so I probably will uh, want to earn more than my partner even though it would be completely fine if he, he earns a million and I just earn less I I just yeah don't really thought about that I don't really money is not like a big issue for me don't really think much about it yeah but I'm I definitely want to earn money a lot of money I want to be rich <laughs> um, as for paying a date I most of the time I feel like I want to pay equally I'm but it's not a problem for me if someone offers to pay for me but then at the next occasion I will offer to pay for him as well so I don't feel uncomfortable um, it's something that happens with my friends too that they say oh no it was such a nice evening I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pay for your beer and they're like oh yeah that's fine okay and then when she comes around the next time I'm gonna buy her food something like that it's just just don't live on other people's expenses and last but not least, question number 10. Anything else you want to share about your experience with gender? Yeah, well, never really thought about gender that much. I, when I just, when I thought about the questions of this tag, I was thinking about my childhood and how I grew up and that I personally never, ever, I, I refer to, to women. I like to, to be around girls and, um, feel connected to them and yeah like soul sisters they they know the same problems like me blah 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 and but <laughs> uh whenever i compare my actions and my things i never compare myself to women or girls i compare myself to men or boys i always want to if if a group of guys does something and some girls say oh no I don't want to do that I don't want to jump down this cliff I'm gonna I'm gonna be the person who says I'm gonna do that I'm gonna be as good as your boys even though I'm a girl so that's basically what I grew up on and how I experience it and I don't really feel like um, doing these girly things I'm as I said I would consider myself somewhere in between a gender and female I do mixed clothes of guys and girls even though I don't really fit in guys trousers they are I'm, ju I'm just too super skinny I I like to wear band tees for boys this is a man's band tee by the way because they are more comfortable and do love mainly guys things like video games GTA and stuff even though emancipation gone so far that even girls can experience it can do that as well do yeah, well, and, and on the other hand, I do pretty girly things like ballet dancing. I've never really thought about doing anything gender specific. Gender is basically nothing that I really think about or care about. So yeah, that was our agenda tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope in the future I'm going to make more vlogs and stuff. But yeah, goodbye everyone. You can see it better on camera than in person. That's cool. God. Albums, uh, but like in the Japanese version, why? Why the fuck?